Firewood and Cookies, a short story by L.M.G. Wilson. The warmth of hot cocoa tingled her lips. The dark, decadent flavors reached in to coat her mouth and tickle her taste buds with sweet and bitter and the smooth feel of cream. Natalie's mama always used to dollop a bit on top. To cool it, she'd say. Natalie swallowed as though the sip was real. Like her belly was full. Like the hot cocoa would meet cookies she'd nibbled on while the drink cooled. Always chocolate chunks, not chips. The kind chopped with a sharp knife and mixed into the batter before they'd had time to melt. She loved them, even when Mama sneaked in some oatmeal. Their fire roared, cast iron stove, books piled on the table, blankets wrapped around their shoulders. The heat of the mug seeping through to her fingertips as she breathed in the smells of home. Firewood and cookies. But Natalie's fingers weren't warm. They pressed through moth-eaten gloves to touch the store window. Whatever heat flickered inside by the faux fireplace didn't pass through the glass. The books inside were glued to the table, plastic and static, for display purposes only. And the cup beside them shone with copy-pasted platitudes like, Live your best life and mmm, that's hot. It wasn't home. It was a lie bundled up in purposeful disarray, like they'd forgotten what home was. Natalie's fingers drifted from the window. She shoved them into her jacket to hide from the chill, but it still found her through the holes left unmended. It slipped in with the must of her unwashed clothes she'd grown too familiar with. Home was more than a drink. More than a coffee table. More than a saying you slap a price tag on. Warmth, she thought with a shiver. Real warmth, the kind from tucking in on the couch and sharing too many blankets. The lights flipped off inside the store as the last of the patrons left, their bags full and their wallets a little lighter. Natalie's pockets were emptier. She'd forgotten to ask for change as the crowd had dawdled out, though in part she knew they'd not stop to share. She wasn't small anymore. Strange how being smaller made you stand out in a sea of faces. With opportunity lost, she remained fixed in her place. She watched the fake fire flicker behind the thick paned window, an imperfect copy lighting the dark of the store. What I'd give for some cocoa and a blanket, Mama. Snow found its way between her and the glass, little flakes of cold spoiling the view. Even if it was fake, it reminded her of the real she'd left behind. Firewood and cookies shared warmth of a home. Thank you so much for listening. If you like this short story and want to listen to more of my narrations, be sure to like and subscribe to stay notified. You can read my work on Reddit or support me by becoming a patron for exclusive early access to stories, serials, and my narrations. All links are in the description below.